Hello everyone, hope you are learning well. So in this video, we'll discuss the first problem of lead code by weekly contest 92. Uh, it's an easy level problem, but uh, I would say relatively difficult than the other level one problem that you get into the contest. Even you can see that with the accuracy also. So we have more than 17,000 submissions and only um, approximately eight and a half thousand have been accepted. Uh, so let's see what the problem statement says. The problem name is minimum cuts to divide a circle. So what is a valid cut? So a valid cut in a circle can be represented by two things. Okay. So a cut that is represented by a straight line that touches two points on the edge of the circle and passes through its center. Okay. So that means if this is a circle and if this is a line, so this is the center of the circle. So just see it touches this edge and this edge or in short, I can say if that is a diameter. Okay. And what is the second condition? A cut that is represented by a straight line that touches one point on the edge of the circle and its center. So the other thing is this is the circle, this is the center, any radius. Okay. So either a diameter or a radius. These are known as valid cuts. So it is given this is a valid cut, this is a valid cut, however, this is an invalid cut. This is this does not pass us to the center of the circle. Okay. So the problem says given the given the integer n return the minimum number of cuts needed to divide a circle into n equal slices okay what are the examples the first example is so this is a circle and n equals to four so we need to divide a circle into four equal parts so this is my circle one thing that i can do is i i draw a line here this is my center so i get two equal parts and then i divide it like this i get four equal parts so uh, two points, uh, two lines I need to, two cuts, a minimum two cuts I need to uh, get four equal parts. Okay. What about the second example? So again, this is a circle. I need to find three equal parts. So the only possible way is drawing three lines like this. Okay. Now, why is it so? So this, the, the angle, the angle that you have at the center is 360 degrees. Okay. 360 degrees. And obviously to divide it into three equal parts, uh, each one will have 120 degree. 120 degree and 120 degree okay so uh, we can do it based on mathematics how i did this is I'll, I'll just tell you these problems are more or less related to the observation part okay so let's see how we can observe it okay so what are the what are the things to observe just a second yeah so what are the things to observe let me just yeah so let's uh, let's calculate answer for some of the uh, values okay so what if i want uh, one equal part. So this is my circle. I do not draw a line. So I get one equal part. So zero cuts are required. What about two? So if this is a circle, this is my center. Yeah, just a second. This is my center. So what I do, I just draw a line from here. I get two equal parts. So that means one cut is needed. What about three? So in the example itself, it is given for three equal parts. I have to draw three lines. This is the center. So for three answer is three. What about four? So if this is my circle. What are the four equal parts? One line can be like this. One line can be like this. One, two, three, four. So four equal parts need two lines. Okay. What about five? So 360 divided by five. So this is the total angle I have. And this is the number of parts I need. Okay. So what it will be? It will be uh, 72 degree, right? Mm, 75 to 35. Yes. So the only way that you can divide is basically divide it into draw five lines. Okay. This is the center. One, two, three three four five this is the only way you can get five equal parts okay so the first angle will be 72 degree then add it so 144 degree and so on okay so for five i have five what about six so 360 divided by six you get 60 degrees so each half will have 60 degrees so this is my circle i can do something like this okay so 60 degree 120 degree 180 degree okay so i can do something like this this is my center one two three four five six all are 60 degrees so i need three cuts one straight line this one this one this so for six answer is uh, three and for seven if you again draw so you have to divide 360 by seven you get a number in which you have to draw separate lines so for seven answer will be seven again for eight you will see that if this is a circle you can do something like this okay so four cuts will be needed four diameters for nine it is nine so this is what i did and here if you'll see uh, so the mathematics is divide 360 into the equal parts and see that whether you are getting a straight line or not so that could be something like if this is a straight line like the angle for this line is zero and for this line is 180 
that could be one of the things but the easier thing is just see what is the pattern so for this what i can see is if just see this right so for one it is zero and for every even number it is n by two just see n by two n by two n by two and what about odd numbers for every odd number it is that number itself just see that number itself right so this is more of an observation right so if i come to my solution just see what i have done i have done exactly the same thing if n is less than equals to 2 return n minus 1 that was because for 1 i had 0 for 2 i had 1 else if n is an even number divide it by 2 and return n so if it is any even number we half it or in case of an odd number we just return n right so this is my solution uh, more or less related to the observation part uh, but yeah, I, I hope you learned something new from this video. Uh, in case of any queries, do mention that into the comments. Uh, and this is how I solve this problem during the contest. Um, obviously, there can be some better solutions as well, which I'll be posting after the contest. Right now, I am posting the solutions which I did in the contest. That's the main motive um, of me telling you how to approach a problem in real time. Okay. So yeah, I hope you learned something new from this video. Do support it by giving up a thumbs up. Do subscribe to the channel. And in case of any queries, I'll be more than happy to revert on each one of them. Just comment down on the video and I'll, I'll try to answer each one of them. Thank you. Take care. Bye-bye.